Howdy, howdy. This is Mr. Potter. Um, before we go on to our next thing, there's a couple of things I want to take care of with our array list class we've been working on. Uh, first, I have this define null, and I said that we have to define it. Some classes will define this for us, and so we kind of need to put a catch here that says if it's not to defined, then go ahead and define it. And that's kind of what we did here with this if and def ArrayList.h. If ArrayList.h isn't defined, then we include the file. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So if and def uh, null, in other words, if null is not defined, then we're going to go ahead and define null to be zero. And that means if null's already defined, this is going to do anything. But if null's not defined, then it's going to be the null that we need for our array list get. And this is something else that we need to change because the way that I've got this written, this is expecting to return an object of type T and a null is a zero. Now, I know this is supposed to return a memory location, and as such, I need to go ahead and make sure that this is returning a pointer. So this needs to be a T pointer, and what that means is that I need to make sure that I return a reference to uh, data subindex. So I need to make these changes, and I'll need to make those saved changes in ArrayList.h. So this is in our get method that we had. I need to make sure that this is a pointer that's being returned here. So with that being said, I've got ArrayList.h and ArrayList.cpp, and I'm actually going to go back to our fractions. Uh, so I'm going to copy our uh, fraction.h and our fraction.cpp that we have. So here they are here. I'm going to copy those and I'm going to go back to our original folder, paste them here. So we had fraction.cpp and fraction.h. These were our fraction classes that we had. And we're going to create an ArrayList main to run off both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call this ArrayList main.cpp. And we're going to start typing. So uh, first thing I need to do is our traditional uh, include IO stream, and then we have our uh, user defined libraries. So we have our include, and we want to include fraction.h, and we also want to include uh, arraylist.h. And I'm also going to include two other things. These are going to be necessary for random numbers. So I need to include a file called stdlive.h, and I'm putting these in angle brackets because these aren't user defined. These are system libraries. And so because it's a system library, I need it to be in these angle brackets. And I also need to include time.h. And I'll explain what I'm using both of these for a little later. But again, I'm going to do the traditional using namespace std. So I'm ready. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the system for random numbers. So I have to create a seed value for these random numbers. Now you may remember in C Sharp that we could create a seed value that would be based on a constant so that everyone in the computer lab would have the exact same sequence of random numbers. I can do that, but I want this seed value to really kind of truly be random. So the, the function that I'm using here is called srand. This seeds the random number generator. And I'm going to be doing it based on the time, how long the time's been running, the system's been running in milliseconds. So I'm going to have time, parentheses, null. <clears throat> and what this does is this creates a sequence of random numbers that I can access, but it should be truly random because it's going to be based solely on how long has the computer been running in milliseconds. And it's going to be very rare the occasion where the computer has been running the same number of milliseconds between the time the power was turned on and the time that the program itself has been running. So you rarely would receive the exact same sequence of random numbers. Now I could change this to a constant so that everyone would have a set of reproducible uh, random numbers. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and create an array list of type fraction. Now the thing is because I've included ArrayList.h up here and I've included Fraction.h, I have access to both of these classes that we've written. And I'm going to call this FracList. So there's my fraction list. And then I'm going to create a loop here. So for int 
i gets 0, i is less than 10, i plus plus, just creating a real quick loop here. And I want to create random fractions, which means I want a random numerator and a random denominator. So I'm going to create a variable called num for numerator, and this is going to get rand method. Now this rand function will actually generate a random number between 0 and maxint, and that's way too big. But what I can do is I can do modulus 100, and this forces the answer, the random number now is between 0 and 100. So I'm going to do a, something similar with den for denominator, but I'm going to take rand mod 99 and then take that result and add 1. And this uh, forces the denominator to be between 1 and 100. So in other words, I don't have a chance of getting a 0 for a denominator by tacking on that plus 1, but because I'm doing modulus 99, I'm taking that 0 to 99 range and translating it one unit. And then I want to create a fraction. So fraction f with a num and a den, and then I want to see out f just to make sure that we are doing so I can see what the result is going to be, and then I want to frac list .add f. So in other words, I'm creating a random fraction, I'm going to print it out, and then I'm going to add it to the list. So at the end of this, my frac list should have 10 random fractions in here. And then I'm going to see out an indel, just to move on to the next line, and then I'm going to say while frac list .size is greater than zero. And then we're going to run some stuff here. So I'm going to get a fraction out of this frac list. Now remember that my frac list.get returns a pointer, so I need to make sure that I get a pointer out of here. And I need to assign that to a fraction object, so a fraction ampersand g. So what I'm doing here is this is going to give me a pointer, so I'm going to get whatever's at position 0, and then I'm going to store this right here, remember, is the memory location, so I need to dereference it, so this is going to give me the fraction in the memory location. So now g is actually a fraction object that I can manipulate. So I'm going to see out g and a space, and then because fraction number 0 has been gotten out of the list, I want to physically remove it from the list. So frac list dot remove whatever's at 0. And then I'm going to see out another end line. So I'm going to save this. I need to make sure, okay, I've got fraction and fraction cpp, fraction dot h are here. I've got arraylist.cpp and arraylist.h. And we've got an arraylist main. So I'm going to go ahead and clear, and I'm going to say uh, g++, and I want to compile array list main.cpp with an output file of array list main.exe. Okay, so we got a few errors here. Let's go ahead and take care of this. So I've got this if in death null, and I forgot to end death. That's something I forgot to do. So let's go back to array list.cpp. I have this if in death, and I forgot the end if, just silliness on my part. So we'll save that. Um, bool need to resize cannot be overloaded. Did I forget to change that on this version? I think I might have, so let's see. In arraylist.h, which is here, uh, need to resize, uh, that's going to be a true or false. So in my arraylist.cpp, need to resize should have been type bool. Okay, so I'll take a look at that in just a moment. So it says error with bool array list need to resize. So I've got bool need to resize. Shouldn't be anything in the parameter list. So let's save that, save that, save that, save that, save that. Let's try recompiling this one more time. Okay, so still have a couple of issues here. I've got the need to resize that's having a problem. I've got the index of, which is not working. So no void array list index of and no void array list index of. And then I've got this last index of. So I'll take a look at this. 
So I've got index of and index of. I've got index of, that should be a capital O. And then over here, I've got last index of and last index of. So let's make sure all this is saved and we'll try compiling again. Still having a problem with last index of, so ArrayList T last index of, did I forget the prototype there? Last index of item T. Hmm. So I'll have to get back on this. I'll get back to you in just a few minutes. Okay, a couple of mistakes I found here. I need to make sure that index of and return, and last index of return and int, I didn't have that happening there. And also in my ArrayList.h, I'm using an older version where I had need to resize being private and public, and I really can't have both. So I'm going to delete those. We'll save and save and see how this does. So let's compile it. Okay, so it says no bool ArrayList t contains t member functions. Let's see, do I have that in here? I don't think I had contains in here. So let's put that in here. So this is going to be bool. Uh, contains t item. So let's save that and compile one last time and that seems to take care of it. So let's see if I do dot slash array list main dot exe then notice what's happening here we're adding 10 random fractions that's this 10 13 95 80 seconds 1 4 17 15 and so forth and then I go through and I'm removing them as well. So I've got this main method which creates an array list with 10 random fractions and puts them into the list and then takes them out. Your job is to write a program that will test all of the methods of array list. So I'm going to leave you all to that. So once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.